Hey guys, so this video got delayed because before this build I was doing perforate build but I didn't get to finish it because I didn't really like the playstyle of it. And then I believe it was Satar from my Twitch chat who said that, hey check these spectres, we have the slow. And this slow debuff is for range attack speed and cast speed. So I thought I could stack a bunch of other slow effects and make extremely uh, debuffy build. Temporal Chains and Chill are less action speed and it caps at 75% so I thought with my planning I could reach like almost 60% uh, less action speed on enemies and everything would be so slow and I would be so much faster than them that I would basically never get hit except I guess against the flickering enemies and that is how this build was born and this is actually the first proper Spectres build that I'm doing and the main reason why I hate doing Spectres is that it takes a lot of time and effort to just resummon those Spectres like take a look at this clip of me just enjoying the, the process of raising specters. As you can tell from my face I have a lot of fun doing that. Ah, <sighs> The memories of just sitting and doing nothing except making corpses and looking for the right specter to show up. Those were the best days of my life after all the other best days and worst days. Of course another issue is Minon AI. By the way the specters that I'm using are based on plummeted high metal or plummet chimera whatever. The ones from the high garden in act 8. But there's also a different version of them but with 50% uh, of physical damage converted into cold. And according to PUEDB they do have better base damage and the skill itself also has better damage. Actually there are two different versions of them. One only does the barrage thing and the melee attack and another one has melee attack, barrage thing and also like a, a cold rain thing. And you want those with the cold rain thing because we have better base damage as well. And they are called Chromed Infused Hymeral. The, the weaker version is Chromed Touched Hymeral. I'm gonna write those names in the description and uh, well I guess on the screen. Now the drawback of them is that we have like a reverse point blank. The closer the target is the less damage we are dealing. At least according to PUE DB from what I understand. But because of the minion AI and because we still have melee attack we still try to get close to enemies. So to counter that against the biggest bosses I did try to swap GMP for point blank. Which may or may not be a good idea. It may be better to use uh, vicious projectiles instead. However vicious projectiles reduce the attack speed and you don't want that. You'd actually want as much attack speed on them as possible. Because the attack speed and movement speed is what makes uh, the specters uh, smoother. At least in this case. So these specters in the end perform pretty well. I could clear tier 16 maps without any issues most of the time. However like I said because of Minion AI they are pretty bad in certain cases like uh, syndicate research where there are a lot of uh, closed uh, encounters and we sometimes get stuck behind doors and we really don't like to focus just a single target if there are more enemies. And you are gonna see a couple clips with uh, tier 16 guardians fight and um, shaper and the guardians that uh, cast something or use range attacks are very much slowed. Now while chill and uh, temporal chains are action speed which includes all the animations, all the animations will be slowed, hinder and maim are reduced movement speed. Hinder is coming from my aspect of the spider and maim is on uh, my specter's uh, main links. Maim support gem may not be the best because I have 50% conversion into cold and I'm using hatred as well but I wanted consistency and uh, just slow from everything. Another thing like I said they are pretty bad against enemies that can flicker. For example Chimera. I could not avoid getting getting hit by Chimera because he just flickers on top of me. Even though I do have Taunt and Blind for my minions. Other enemies in Del for example in the cities there are a lot of flickering enemies and uh, enemies that go invisible or dive underground. Also I tried a freeway battle and it was one of the worst en encounters ever. I didn't get even a single row of uh, rewards. I could not make my specters just focus target and I still had to use GMP which reduces uh, the single target potential. But in the end the conclusion is that it was really fun build to make and it was pretty fun to map with seeing all the enemies basically almost freeze in time. And I will probably try to make more specters build in the future especially if they improve the minion AI. And I'm gonna be looking for more specters that are interesting. But do you know about the slave driver specters? I heard they are pretty good you should try it they are pretty meta. Shut the front door. You have no idea how many times people suggested that and I will definitely not do that. Oh one more thing before I talk about the items and other stuff. Something weird happened during the tier 7 elder fight and I'm not entirely sure what exactly caused that. I suspect I slowed down elder too much and uh, he just kind of got stuck in the expanding normal phase and my specters didn't really have enough single target uh, damage and focus on the single target to defeat it fast enough. 
So I just kind of ended up not being able to even do tier 7 elder and I had to use our Hector to complete that. So maybe this build is also not really good against elder fight and I did not try against uber elder because I know that we don't have enough single target uh, focus and damage. Oh and last thing, I feel like I'm not qualified enough to do like a proper build guide video. So this is just uh, what I did I guess. Do or do not follow this build. <laughs> Okay, items. This Mortis because plus one Spectre, so you can use a rare body armor, but it's very expensive because the only way to get it is from the Delve. And it does synergize well for this build because I'm kind of a hybrid life, yes. Plus one Spectre's boots, belt with aspect of the spider. As for the gloves, I needed uh, more decks and I also needed more strength on boots, so uh, on gloves I have a bit more decks, life resistances, and then crafted minions recover 100% of their life when you focus. So it's kind of a quick heal button, which I almost never use because they don't seem to lose life at all. Then for rings you can get a minion movement speed, life resistances, attributes if you need. Then for the amulet I went with the saltist vigil because I wanted the temp chain. For the shield just some thick shield with a lot of life resistances and some physical damage mitigation which is not really required, you're not supposed to get hit. So just get life and resistances. The helmet because my minions do mostly cold damage I have minus 9 cold rest to nearby enemies helmet. With the helmet enchantment for spectre attack and cast speed which is... I don't know if it's actually needed. Oh, the weapon is uh, with minion damage and I crafted triggers a socketed spell when you use a skill. And inside this weapon I have Desecrate, Frost Bomb and Flash Offering. It does rotate and has 4 second cooldown on each skill. Not on uh, the global trigger but on each skill. So you use one skill you can immediately trigger another one by casting an another spell or skill. And each skill inside this uh, weapon will have its own cooldown. Which is 4 seconds. So the weapon does automate things and you don't need to click as many buttons. Then in the minion life uh, helmet I I have Animate Guardian level 21 with Empower, Fortify and Melee Splash. Oh, the Spectres are inside the body armor linked with Maim, Minion Damage, Minion Speed, Hypothermia and Greater Multiple Projectiles which I do swap to Point Blank or maybe Vicious Projectiles, I'm not sure which is better. You may want to swap uh, Hypothermia for like Vicious Projectiles or even faster attacks but since I do use Cold Snap to guarantee a chill so it works pretty well. Next in my shield I have Blasme with Increased AoE and Temporal Chain. In the boots I also have Hatred, Precision and uh, Generosity. Precision is not the best aura but I could not squeeze in another 50% uh, aura because like I said I'm using Aspect of the Spider which is on my belt. Then I also have Convocation and the quality is pretty important because it does give increased cooldown and recovery speed and you want it uh, to be able to resummon your Spectres to, to you which kind of gives a bit more control. Then I also have Flame Dash, I also have Val Cold Snap linked with Bone Chill and Hypothermia. A Bone chill and hypothermia is supposed to give me a bit more slow from the chill and I guess a bit more cold damage against enemies. I was previously using cold snap with a course on hit projectile weakness but later I gave course on hit uh, elemental weakness gloss to my animate guardian and that kind of freed up the sockets which I actually needed. So my animate guardian items and I will include PUB import code as well so you can check the, all the items and other things. So for the items I gave Victoria charity shield to generate the frenzy charges. I also gave intimidate on a hit uh, fast foil. I also gave minus 9 cold rest helmet, Grahul belt for more life and uh, regen, Victoria's flight boots uh, to give uh, movement speed to me and my other minions. As for the gloves, I like I said I got uh, elemental weakness on hit gloves and I wanted attack speed so the cheapest one was uh, Veruso's battering rams. And by the way, the numbers for the Spectre's damage in Path of Building is completely inaccurate because PUB doesn't have the right Spectres. They have the pure physical one, Hammerals, and not the ones that convert physical into cold, which also has a bit higher damage. So I guess the passive skill tree, and I also have the Unending Hunger. This unique threshold jewel gives uh, Spectres a chance to get Soul Eater on kill, which makes them bigger and uh, faster. Oh, and I do have Glorious Vanity, Corrupted Soul Jewel, which actually may or may not be a good idea to use it at all. It does give extra energy shield but also 50% of the damage bypasses the energy shield. So in the end I only have over 6k effective life or close to 8k life plus ES combined. From Necromancer I send it some notes, of course you take Soul Weaver first, then I pick Commander of Darkness and uh, Puppet Master. On the passive skill tree you get plus one Spectre, you get minion damage, a bit of minion region, minion resistances, aura reservation nodes and then just life and a bit of ES. Oh, and uh, course things, plus one course and uh, course effect. And that's, that's pretty simple. And that is all for this build. 
As for next build, I think it's either gonna be surprisingly and unexpectedly good, or it's gonna be very mean but uh, not good. Hmm, cast your vote. What do you think is gonna be, good or bad build? I will be using Agnostic uh, Keystone and Dark Pack, and Mind Over Meta, and Damage Taken again as Mana, and Damage Taken again as Life, and Life Leech. So far I'm still low level but the Agnostic Keystone is working pretty well and is healing me pretty well, but we'll see once I get to maps. So for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.